welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about my evening skincare routine because I know you want to have skin like this. I'm going to share my products that I use. I'm happy with it at the moment um, and I say happy. What I really mean is it doesn't look horrifically shit. It just looks a bit horrific every now and again but I can deal with that because my skin is not a happy organ. Um, it likes to play up, it likes to clog, it likes to dispel nastiness, it likes to just, yeah, be a pain in the ass. So what I'm doing at the moment is working for me on that level. I'm quite happy to maintain this. So now that I've sold it to you, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So let's start with the cleanser. Okay, so first up, I start with a micellar water. Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But sometimes I do. <laughs> this is the one I choose. Um, it's the Avene Cleanance Micellar Water. I've only got a little bit left look. That shows that I like it. So I use this first to remove the first layer of crud off my face. Um, and I find this quite good at removing mascara um, and stubborn eye makeup as well. So it's pretty good. I give a little once over with this on a cotton pad. Um, but then sometimes I use this before cleansing, sometimes I use it after, just depending on my mood, how much makeup I've got on, etc. So I use this in conjunction, conjunction. <laughs> so I use that with Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. So I might use this one first or the micellar water first. Yeah. So I use this. So it's the Take the Day Off cleansing balm from Clinique and I really like this um, this is my second or third pot and it's basically if I can get my face out of the way so you can see um, it looks like lard it kind of feels like lard and the first time I opened it I was like oh no oh no don't want to put lard on lard as in lard um, but it actually does work very well at cleansing away the lard. I think it's the whole like attracts like. Um, it sucks out the oil, it takes away all the makeup. So basically a little bit of this, massage it onto dry face on top of the makeup um, and then wash it away with a flannel, flannel to just to wipe it all away. Maybe a little bit of a splash of water. I don't know what's wrong with me today, I'm feeling a bit wappy, I think it's the super moon. This is fragrance free, which I actually really like. Now I do like fragrance products. You know, it's like a treat, like rubbing it in, like, oh, this smells of lavender. But usually for a cleansing product in particular, if it smells, it means it's gonna clog. I don't know why, it's just, um, it must be like the oils they add in or something, but the nicer it smells, the worse it's gonna be. You know, you pay for it later. It smells nice, I'm enjoying this. Take it off, shit. It's clogged. Clog is like a word of this video, by the way. Clogging, declogging, trying to declog. But with this being fragrance free, it kind of just, it does the job. It gets the job done, no fannying about. We're not gonna stand here smelling stuff. Let's just get it on, get the makeup off. Next step, please. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them. But it's very good, I highly recommend this. Now, once I have sufficiently cleansed, I then go on to, reaching over, the lotion P50W by Biologique Recherche. Resh, 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 I don't know how to say it. If I was a product speaker error, reader out error, yeah, that would be an issue, but I'm not, so, there you go, read it yourself, love. How rude of me. There we go, Biologique Russia Russia. Russia Russia. That one. But I have to say, this, yeah, this is like the ultimate. If you're going to buy anything out of this whole video, this is the one, okay? This is a holy grail product. Bit of a bold statement there. But I've even written a blog post which. I'll link down below for you to go and have a little click and a read but it really is worth it it's an acid exfoliator 
so it declogs it just gets away the film it gets away all the impurities it refines it smooths it really has made a big difference to my routine so once i've cleansed i pop this onto a cotton pad give it a little wipe and then on to the next step but if you want more info have a look at the blog post it's definitely worth it okay i'll be honest here this next item i don't really know what i'm doing with okay i have put it on after my acid tone because my theory is acid tone strip off all the crap let's get all the good stuff in after that strip off the crap good stuff after that strip off the crap good stuff after that and that's this it's the neod niod and ROD, yeah you know me, that one, the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex. So, they don't really give much direction with this, it just says apply AM and FM to face, FM meaning PM probably, just apply to face, alright then, what like the whole bottle or one drop, when, how, what do I do? Um, so, I haven't really read up on this. But what I have been doing is just a couple of drops after my acid just to um, get a bit of the moisture back because it's hyaluronic. Um, and I know that you have to use this first before anything else because it's quite um, absorbent. So put this on before other things so it gets right in there, right in there, deep down in the depths of the holes. So a couple of drops of that. Um, but this is one where I'm a bit like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm gonna have a play around still, but it's there nonetheless. I got this in a beauty box. So this is a sample size, I think it's half the normal size of the normal size. So the next item, I've only been using it for a couple of weeks now, so I can't really fully comment on it, um, but it seems to be working well within this routine so far. So that's the Sunday Riley UFO oil. Now the theory behind this is once you're all cleansed and ready for your good stuff, it helps treat clogged pores, clogged skin, clog, clog, clog. Need some clogs. Um, it's got 1.5% salicylic acid in it, so it's supposed to help with regulating um, oils. It helps to declog. Um, helps with problem skin basically so it's putting the good oils back in once you stripped it all out um, you can treat it and put the good stuff back in now this is I'm going to contradict myself okay like I like to do this is very highly scented oh it's actually really nice yeah see this is why take the day off is good because I don't spend half an hour stood there sniffing it like this oh, and I'm no good at describing smells let's just say it's floral botanical something like that but oh, it is nice oh shit I've just dropped like 10 pounds worth out of the bottle because it is expensive it was 60 something pounds really handy I'm gonna put it up here somewhere so you know um so I've got high hopes because Sunday Riley is meant to be a very good brand. Very good brand. It's supposed to be a good brand. So um, I can't give my full comments, but for now, it seems to be doing the trick. Then I seal the deal with Clinique Moisture Surge. This is another product that I absolutely love. I use it morning and night. And to be honest, I don't think I would ever use another moisturiser. Oh, did I say that? I did. That means I can't purchase another moisturiser ever again. I take that back because I like buying stuff. But it is very good. Um, it's perfect for oily skin because it's like a gel like texture. Um, I don't know why. I, oh, lordy. I don't know why I keep this. I'm gonna, this is it. I'm getting rid of it. It's gone that's the irritating bit on the top of, yeah gone just saved myself 10 minutes there in the evening because I struggle for 10 minutes to get it off I'm waffling but it's like a gel like texture so it's super absorbent there you go because you want to look that close oh, come on now 
you believe me it's a gel like texture it's super absorbent it absorbs really quickly um there's no residue it's not oily it just gets in there gets the job done so i pop this on over the top just to um, finish off now I used to not put a moisturiser on it. Like if I was using an oil, I wouldn't bother to put a moisture on, moisture, moisturiser on over the top. Because I think, hang on a minute, I'll just put some oil on. I don't need to overdo it, love. But um, I read up on, I think it was Caroline Hirons, well, I know it's Caroline Hirons' uh, website, because, yeah, I love her. Um, she said that after you've done all your gubbins you need to put on your moisturizer at the end because it's like going out without putting your coat on it's like just going out with your dress and all that you know on a night out you know when people like wear a dress and they're freezing cold and you're like sub that i'm wearing a, a thick coat you know i'm quite happily pay the pound to put it in the hole not that i do that anymore i don't even go out to put it in the hole it's not a problem of mine anymore analogy but um she said it's basically like going out without finishing it off putting your coat on you know you need to put your coat on seal the deal keep your warmth in you know keep it all the layers all snug snug i'm a twat but that is why i now put a moisturizer on over the top at the end finish the deal and i love this one there we go so that's all the items in my evening skincare routine like I said, I'm quite happy with what I'm doing at the moment. I don't have the best skin in the world, so I'm not claiming that this is going to be like, ah, amazing or anything. But it's working for me for now, so I'm happy with it until I switch it up, which will probably be in a few weeks' time because something can come out and I'll have to have it, blah, blah, blah. We know the drill. But for now, that's what I do and that's what I'm happy with. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll be interested to know if you used any of these items and what you thought, particularly the Sunday Riley oil, what you think of that. Um, but that's it for now. Take care. See you next time. Got a new barnet. Do you like it? Cut it off short. Slowly but surely I'm getting more mum-like. Soon it will be how good it is or if it actually is working. But it sort of is. I don't know. Why are you asking? <coughs> Got a bit of a, one of them, you know, bit of a at the minute, bit of a tickle, bit of a irritation. So now it's your favourite time. It's the time I do my YouTube picture. So how am I going to do it this time? All of this, I use all of this every night. I don't know can you do it's a shame that you can't have like a little jingle when you hover over it because it'd be like evening skincare routine you look like me you only have to use all of this it's not much it could be more it could be less i could do this i mean like you only have to use all this to look like me oh shit dropped to me to look this beautiful only these things I don't know why I'm moving because the picture doesn't move. I just stay still like this. What do you reckon? Fucking mental.